Hi guys, Rebecca here. Hopefully you can see me back for another haul video. It's been a little while since I put one together. Um, I've had a couple lots that I went ahead and just listed and didn't actually post a haul video. So hopefully you guys can see everything. And um, some of the items I left out because they're actually being washed. But there's a couple of things that um, I'll just go through. These are all items that I found at the bins a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> I know, a couple weeks, right? I was behind on other items that had to be listed first. So um, I try to work in FIFO order, which FIFO is first in, first out. Um, it's really hard sometimes because you get some really great items and you want to list them right away. But I'm trying to be disciplined in making sure that I list the older items first and then get to the newer ones. So let me go ahead and jump right in. And this is a little wet because I need to hang dry it. Um, but this is a Ralph Lauren a really cute black and white striped shirt with some buttons on the top here it's like a boat neck um, and then it has this drawstring tie in the front so it's really super cute and it just needs to dry so I can steam it and photograph it and then um, nothing special I shouldn't say that right I'm trying to sell these things um, but it's it's just a plain t-shirt that says, you know, California, what does it say, Republic, um, just a men's shirt, but it's real simple and just some, something extra to add to the store. And this one's also wet because it needs to dry. Um, and these should be dry by now. I'll put these through the hand wash cycle. This is a BCBG generation dress um, in excellent condition. You can see the lace here very pretty and then it has um, this button detail on the back side I'm sorry if my lighting's bad I tried to fix it as much as I could but this is a super pretty dress um, and then it does have the the lined lacing I'm sorry um, the um, slip inside so it's really cute so look adorable on someone um, and then I just probably have to put everything aside and then I got this what is it Escada, which I know is name brand. Um, I was really pleased when I saw this, and I watched somebody else's video saying that you know that it's real when the back stitching is attached all the way across the back, and this one is. It's open from the bottom, but all the back stitching is um, attached. You can see it's like see-through mesh here, but this is a really long dress. Um, it's very pretty, so I expect this one to. Um, sell for a pretty decent penny. <clears throat> this is probably by far my favorite find. And this is a purse um, by Jenny Krause. And there's a backstory behind it about um, women in, I believe it's it's Peru from Peru. I still have to do a little bit more research, but um, it's like a free trade um, purse. So women would make purse I guess certain items and um, and then re and resell them um, as part of a free trade type deal and this is one of those items so it's really cool and again I have to do more research I hope I explained that right um, but you can see all this detail it's handmade that's for sure um, and then it has this adjustable strap it's very 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 cute and um, I saw one going for over a hundred dollars. So, and it was actually just like this one. Um, so I'm expecting that to do very well. Um, this is actually not from the bins. It snuck its way in there because it needed to get washed. So I'll set that aside. <clears throat> this is a pair of women's size 14 Ralph Lauren floral print pants. Adorable, in excellent condition. I would be surprised if they were more worn more than twice. Got those. This is Mont. I hope I'm saying that right. Montu, Montau. This here, you can see for yourself. <laughs> it's probably better that way. Um, it's really cute. It's just like a little cotton blazer top with a single button, but has these two um, little faux pockets here in the front. So just for style. 
It's really adorable. Um, this is Apt9. I normally don't pick this brand up um, for no particular reason. I just don't. But this is 100% cashmere. And it's the leopard print. So I thought this was really cute and um, a pretty decent find. And this is in really good condition. So that should also do well. This is m mink, mink Pink. And it's just a crop knit sweater in excellent condition. You can see the brand here and the detail. It's nice and thick, so the quality is definitely there. This is just a kid's shirt, um, Peanuts by Hannah Anderson, which actually does really well um, online. <clears throat> so with Valentine's coming up, it's just a little Snoopy with the heart, which I need to list this like now. If the person wants to receive by Valentine's. This is new with tags. These are um, Maurice's small medium stretch leggings in excellent condition. I mean, they're brand new. They still have the tag. Nothing wrong with them. I debated about keeping them myself, but you know how that goes. Finders, not keepers. So this is a Tahari um, ASL blazer in excellent condition with this cute little clasp here. Um, it's great for professional look. You could wear it with jeans or with slacks, um, but it's definitely a staple piece. This is Calvin Klein. It doesn't have the size on it. But I know um, it's on the larger size. It's a, it's a plus size shirt. So um, I did take the measurements and I'll just have to include that. I can't say for sure the size, but based on measurements, um, I believe it's like a, a 1X or, um, or an extra large. So, it's, but it's really pretty. It, this leopard print, it's got this nice hardware detail and it is Calvin Klein. Um, and then it has these tab sleeves. So. It's really, really cute. <clears throat> I was so stoked about this find. Um, Diane Von Fursten, Furstenberg. I don't know why I can never say her name, but it is um, a name brand. So it's definitely a good find. It's 100% silk on the top and um, the bottom. I can't remember what the bottom is, but. Um, it's this really pretty wrap dress. Um, so it opens up, it wraps all the way around, and it has the silk tie. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Um, you can see here. And I expect this to sell right away. I'd be surprised if it didn't. This is Tarte. Just another hip trendy little brand there. Um, and it's just a one size gray stripe poncho. I'm really happy with the, these items I found this time around. Uh, this is just a large Lucky Brand t shirt. So, see there. Uh, this is a kids, just like a fitness sport um, with the MTA. It's not like a major brand, but um, it does have the little thumb cutouts, and <clears throat> it's in excellent condition with this like zipper, um, quarter zip here in the front. So nothing to write home about, but it's definitely um, in good condition, and I think it should still sell. I'm sorry if you guys can't even see my face while I'm talking. I'm trying to like get in the view here, but it's kind of tough. Um, this one here is Tommy Hilfiger. It's really cute. It's short sleeve. Has this like kangaroo pocket here in the front. It's got the Tommy Hilfiger um, little like hardware emblem there. And then it does have this cute little hood in the back. So it does have a little bit of peeling. I did take my uh, sweater shaver to it and cleaned it up a little bit, but it is an older piece. Uh, so it's probably not going to sell for top dollar, but it's still cute and there's still a lot of room for some more love. 
This is a men's extra large Climacool by Adidas. It's probably only worn once or twice because there's, you know, the white is still crisp white. It's in excellent condition. This is Women's Alfani 24 wide. So I'm really happy about this because I've been trying to get other sizes in my store. I tend to find a lot of things that are like small, um, mediums, and you know, some large, but um, I want to have more of a variety of sizes. And so when I find some really, you know, great um, pieces that are uh, larger sizes, it makes me happy. This one, again, is Alfani 24 wide. Okay, I literally ran out of footage or space, so I don't really remember where I left off. But I think I was talking about this um, Alfani top and how it has really cute zippers and how I really like it. So anyway, it's a good piece. <clears throat> this is a Gap shirt with these really cute little like corner side pockets in the front. Um, it's adorable. Then this Ralph Lauren Sport in excellent condition. It's like it's practically new. Um, and this is a striped uh, button down shirt, size six. So it's really nice. This is just a little tennis skirt with the tag still on it. So um, not sure how much I'll really get for that, but. I still have a tag, so when it has a tag, I like to get it. This is a pair of made for life, quick, dry uh, workout pants. In excellent condition. Ugh, I don't want to wrinkle these. All these items I had actually kind of cheated normally with the haul video. Um, you just pull it out of the bag, but I had actually measured and steamed all these already. But I definitely wanted to do this video before I listed anything. Um, this is Ann Taylor. It's just a really cute white with black stripes. And then it has like this extra like black detail here around the edges, which I thought was really cute. It's in excellent condition. Um, this is a pair of white page jeans. So page jeans do really well. They should probably sell for like around $25. This is one of my favorite pieces that I found other than the purse. Um, it's like a vintage varsity snap button cardigan sweater. Um, I don't know if you could see just... This is so cool. Just brings you back in time. And it's an older piece. You could totally, this would look so cute with a pair of jeans and some chucks. So that's one of my favorites by far. This is a no brand. Um, it's handmade. You could tell by the zipper, just the way that it, um, they didn't like finish it. But it's really cute. It's an Aztec print. And it's just a one-of-a-kind piece. It's handmade. This is Material Girl, which I believe is Madonna's daughter's brand. It's a size large. It's like a zebra pink print with this open cutout in the front. Um, and it's really cute. I got all this for around, what did I pay? $30? I think it was around 30 bucks. This is an Old Navy Boys little tiki shirt. I'll try to speed this up a little bit. This is a Hollister sweater. This is a Banana Republic shirt, striped shirt. This is a Hollister shirt. It says Happy Camper on it. It's 2015, so it's a little dated, but it's really cute. Cool little message there. 
this is a Christmas find, but you know, I can still list it and see what happens. I don't know the brand because the tag's been removed, but it looks like something like from Old Navy or Gap. And it's really good quality. This is a Talbot's. I just washed this today too. Um, it's all white. It's a zipper, a full zip. It's got these little pockets and it's hooded. Um, just a plain hoodie, but it's really good quality. This is an FS Limited coat. I think you can see it. Really nice. It's mainly wool. Uh, and it has this really nice thick black ribbed collar. This is just the Target uh, Morona brand. Just a cardigan sweater. These colors remind me of Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but it's really cute. Then we got this J. Crew sweater, which is just a tan with um, like a magenta, like a pink stripe. It's J. Crew. Got Flying Tomato, which is anthropology. There is a little snag uh, somewhere. Here it is. You can see that little snag. So I'll have to mention that in the listing. I don't want to cut it off because it might leave a hole. So instead of trying to fix it, I'll just point it out. It's really cute cardigan. Open, open face cardigan or open front. This is Oscar de la Renta, which should do really well. Uh, I need to look into it though because the tag does open a little bit in the back there. So I need to see, make sure that this is authentic. Um, should be. The quality of the piece is really nice. But it's Oscar by Oscar de la Renta. This is a kid's faux fur jacket. And I got an Alfred Dunner little um, three quarter sleeve burnt orange color um, sweater top with some sequin detail. It's cute. And lastly is an Urban Outfitters shirt, a polka dot shirt, but it's really thick. It's nice. You can really feel the quality. Um, you can never go wrong with polka dots. Super cute. Again, you can wear this with some jeans and some chucks. And that's all I got for you guys. So all in all, it was a really great haul. I felt like I got some great pieces. Um, the way to tell if they're great pieces is if they actually sell. So the next step is to get them listed. Let me know if you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and leave some comments below. And I have a lot more to come. Thanks, guys. Bye.